And the Tillamook Creamery is lending a helping hand to our country's struggling farmers through a very generous donation. The company is donating $1.6 million to the American Farmland Trust. It is all part of their All for Farmers campaign. Joining us live to tell us how that money is being used, how farms can apply for a grant, is Tillamook CEO Patrick Kreitzer. Good morning. Good morning. Good Thanks. to be with you. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. This is just such a, a generous grant to support farmers through, uh, you know, what I would imagine has been a really, really tough year. So tell us a little bit about what made you want to do this. Yeah, well, as a farmer owned cooperative that's been around for 111 years, we're very concerned about this, the challenges that farmers are facing across the country and, and also very concerned about the alarming uh, rate of loss of farmland to development around around the U.S. Yeah, and so you've committed a portion of sales to the American Farmland Trust. So how exactly is that going to work? So yeah, so we, during the month of September, uh, we committed to, to uh, donate 10% of sales to the American Farmland Trust. Uh, that $1.6 million, uh, as it turns out, will be uh, used half to preserve uh, farmland through farmland trust structures that uh, provide money to farmers and, and ensure that farmland will stay uh, stay in farming um, in agriculture. And then the other half will be used as direct grants uh, given to farmers who can apply at Air American Farmland Trust's uh, website uh, to help them, you know, adopt new practices, to help them uh, access more land or, or to do other things that, to get them through this pandemic. Yeah, so what, what types of things are, are you hoping that this money is used for? You mentioned that, you know, they're, they're struggling through the pandemic. We have farmers facing uh, problems with, with climate change, with international trade. There have been so many things this year that have set up different barriers for them. Um, what, what do you hope this money is going to be used to do? Well, that's absolutely right. And so um, it, it may be, for example, a case where some additional equipment can help them uh, become more efficient and uh, more cost effective as they deal with the ups and downs of this crazy situation. Uh, it may be that they can access a little bit more land um, and in doing so um, expand their production. It may, be, it may help them change to crops that, that are more in demand with uh, the increase in at-home consumption that we've seen versus uh, those that were, were shipping into markets that were used in restaurants and hotels and those kinds of things. So, whatever adjustments that they might need to make uh, in their particular situation to get through uh, the, the current uh, state of, of agriculture that we're in now. Yeah, are there are there certain uh, parts of, of agriculture or farming that were hit harder than others? Because I know like, t say Tillamook, for instance, with cheese, there was this cheese shortage recently yeah. and it seemed like, you know, the cheese it's manufacturers cheese <laughs> yeah, couldn't turn it out fast enough. I mean, were there certain parts of the industry that were hit harder? Yeah, those, far, those farmers whose crops or milk uh, was being used uh, into products that then ultimately were sold in restaurants and hotels and schools, those, ones were, those, those farmers were hit the hardest because uh, overnight uh, demand for their products dried up. And mm -hmm. um, the way our food supply chain is set up here, you know, the best in the world in the United States, uh, still fairly rigid in terms of, you know, the products that are being made from the agriculture uh, agricultural products uh, are, are de destined for a particular use. And when that use changed so suddenly, uh, farmers found themselves with no markets to ship to. Mm. Right, right. Yeah. You can't uh, change that entire supply chain overnight for sure. Now, yeah, you, you mentioned um, farmers can apply online. Walk us through one, one more time how exactly uh, they can apply for a grant through the trust. Yeah, so farmers can go to American Farmland Trust and there's a portal there, an application portal there where they can uh, apply for some of these funds and then those grants will be made uh, in the coming months uh, based on or coming weeks based on uh, based on you know the availability of funds and the, and the needs that are out there. All right well Patrick thank you so much for joining us some good information. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah.